Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniel Wargo and I am back in the kitchen for a brand new episode of Forking Around, a show where the jokes are bad and the cooking comes second. And today I am doing the second video in my month long series on soul food. For the month of June, I'm releasing five videos where I'm teaching myself as much as I can and learning as much as I can about soul food. And last week we did fried chicken. You can watch that here. And this week, we're making mac and cheese. <laughs> so get out them stretchy pans, cause we're gonna need them. Macaroni and cheese. When done right, an art form. When done wrong, still very good. Mac and cheese aplenty. And today, this is the day that I make my own. So, what we're going to do is make a heavy duty, real creamy, delicious macaroni and cheese with no Velveeta, cause let's go. Cause let's go, you know, cause let's go. So what I've got is I've got some elbow macaroni noodles in here. And uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a little cheese sauce. And we're gonna start with a little roux. What's a roux? Well, I don't know. So I'm starting off with five tablespoons of butter. You know guys, it's always important when you are making a roux to drink a really good brew. Okay, flour, we need flour. Two. Three. All right, so we're just gonna pour the noodles in. Oh, shh, don't tell anyone. That never happened. Note to self for next time. Melt all the butter first, then add the flour. Stupid move, rookie move. It's gonna be fine, but it's a rookie move. All right, so our roux is coming together, so now I'm gonna add some half and half. Total, we're gonna do like three cups of half and half. I can't open this for some reason. There we go. And we're just gonna start out with a little bit. So our roux, our cream, it's ready for our cheese. I've got three different kinds of cheeses. I've got Gouda, I've got Fontina, and I've got sharp cheddar. So basically we're gonna make a cheese sauce with this and then we're gonna pour it on top of the noodles, bake it in the oven, and we'll have mac and cheese. That's kind of the plan. All right, our cheese sauce is done. I am working my little tail off here, guys. But it's looking and smelling delicious, so everything is all right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this cheese sauce over here. Boom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And the last thing I'm gonna do is sprinkle some sharp cheddar on the top. And then we're gonna bake this in the oven at 350 for 30-ish minutes. All right, guys, it is time to try this mac and cheese. It was a lot of fun to make, and I have been dreaming of this mac and cheese for literally several hours. So I'm going to give it a try. Get a nice big bite up in here. Come on. Oh, here we go. Okay. That's dirty. <laughs> that was good. It's so creamy. It's cheesy. It's not too crazy. It's not too salty. It's just really good. That's amazing. Wow. Wow. Mac and cheese has gotta be one of the best things on this planet. And now I can do it any day I want. So I just got a lot more powerful. Think about that. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Next week, I'm making collard greens. So make sure you subscribe, like this video if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next one. Have a wonderful week in the universe. Eat a cookie. <laughs>